What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, off screen, yeah, I did a little bit of uh, grinding, yeah, look at that. All my Pokemon are nice and ready uh, to go right here. Of course, again, hat game, don't really care how I play this game. Uh, we're going to get this done pretty quickly here, guys. Uh, we're going to be playing against uh, the Goldenrod City Gym Leader, Whitney. And we all know that, yeah, she 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 has some pretty interesting Pokemon. They're just normal-type Pokemon right here. And uh, we have to go with any way possible to beat her. Yo, champ in the making! This gym is home to normal-type Pokemon trainers. We, I recommend you using fighting-type Pokemon, which I do. Thank you, Jeebus, with this whole Shroom Lee right here. So we're going to be switching it up. And, uh... Well, yeah, as you probably already noticed, I evolved most of my Pokemon right here for this uh, this little part right here. Mainly because, uh, yeah, these trainers are going to be tough. And is, uh, well, my, with my adventure right here, if it's taught me anything right now, all these Pokemon trainers will be leveled up, souped up, all that crud. So what we're going to do is a mod punch the crud out of everybody right here. That's right, we're going to be ready for anything. And uh, luckily we do have Haunter. Yeah, it will not hit anybody, but it will manipulate uh, any of these Pokemon right here. So we're just going to continue on right here with Shroom Lee. Kicking butt, taking names, all that stuff. Or kicking names, taking ass, I don't even know. I really don't know. So anywho guys, you guys probably, uh, like for those who are watching this for the first time and all that stuff, you guys are wondering why am I playing Pokemon Liquid Crystal, a hat game? Well. It's mainly because I've been talking about it for quite some time, actually for about five to ten years, and uh, never got around to it, but since this whole COVID-19 thing came around and all that stuff, I kind of have a little time on my hands now, and uh, well, might as well use the time that I have to actually play this game while I'm at it. Now, where will I land? I don't know. I'm just putting up uh, as many episodes as I can for this whole walkthrough. Uh, again, it's not going to interfere with any of my main walkthroughs, such as Pokemon Black or Leaf Green. And, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully, hopefully we complete this game uh, at a timely manner. Uh, again, it's not my biggest, uh, it's not my biggest priority right now, but we'll get around to it from time to time and all that stuff, too. So, hopefully, you know, this, this walkthrough comes as a success as, uh, many other walkthroughs. Now, again, this is a hat game, so... Really, like honestly, I'm gonna play this game the way I uh, the way I can, you know, hacking things, hack games, and all that stuff, uh, just so we can get through the completion of this whole thing right here. Uh, like many other games out there, like well, not like my uh, unlike my original walkthroughs right here, like Leaf Green or Black or anything. I'm gonna t I'm gonna cut measures just so I can get through this whole thing as quickly as possible. And uh, well, let's see, where do I get through this area? Okay, we already beat those girls. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take on another trainer right here. And she's like, don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. That can whip you. Or they can whip you. So, whatever. Okay, so, here we go. Last Cassie would like to battle. And she will be coming out with her Snubble. Snubble's got nothing on me. Because, uh, Irwin's got himself a Dragon Claw right now. So, here we go. Dragon Claw for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Snubble defeated. That's right. That's how you do it right there. That is how you do it. And yeah, she thought I was weak. Really, I wasn't uh, surprised the crud out of her and everything. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Toxic Batman now. Let's see. There's nobody right here. And there's one trainer right there. And there's a big old hope right there. Hole right there. And I'm assuming that's the gym leader. And, uh, well... The theme right here is using cute Pokemon. I guess cute Pokemon uh, do have an advantage, I guess. I, I mean, whatever. Okay, so here we go. Swift attack. Do not miss. And uh, that defense curl is not going to do much for you right there, Jigglypuff. Uh, the only thing I have, to, I have to worry about is using a physical attack and getting infatuated by this Jigglypuff. Because it probably... Okay, it doesn't have an infatuation right there. And uh, like... Like I figured out early on, yeah, yeah, this 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 game right here has all these trainers using their items, which is pretty cool in a sense. You know, it's pretty awesome. I guess I don't know. I really don't know. So there it is, defeated. Toxic Batman kicks some butt. So let's go straight to Shroomly, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that took us uh, all the way 
in, uh, what should you call it, uh, in Pokemon Emerald and, you know, the last episode of Pokemon Platinum right there. So there we go. Mock Punch. There we go. Suck on that. Shroom Lee kicking butt, taking names, and he, we got another Jigglypuff. So let's go stay, let's stay with the Shroom Lee right here. All right, Shroom Lee, you got this. Mock Punch for the win. Look at that. Jigglypuff getting its butt kicked just like always. And uh, everybody is a winner right here. Bridget, oh no, 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 no. No, you did not win. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon right here because, of course, we're going to be facing Whitney, the third gym leader. And uh, is that her? Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into uh, Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. Okay. So here it is, guys, our third gym battle, and it's against Whitney, the normal type gym leader, and she will be coming out with her prize Pokemon, Miltank, right here. Now this is the Pokemon that we are worried about, so let's go right ahead and par uh, paralyze it, and of course it's not going to work out, so let's go straight with the mock punches. I don't care. It always goes first for a fighting type Pokemon. Look at that. And a uh, stomp attack. Yeah, it stomped the yard with my uh, my Shroom Lee right here. So here we go again, another mock punch, and here comes that rollout attack. Okay, not so effective. Again, it get it gets stronger after a while, but luckily for us, we do have a Pokemon that knows a fighting type attack. And there you go, Shroom Lee kicking butt. And look at that, look at that, Shroom Lee level 25. So the next Pokemon's gonna be easy, so let's go straight to Irwin and just destroy the whole thing. Make her feel uh, the pain that we felt. I don't know. <laughs> the pain that we felt uh, as a kid growing up trying to battle this Pokemon trainer. And there we go, Dragon Claw does, oh crud. Well, there's that in fact, that cute charm uh, that we've been uh, worried about. Oh crud. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Erwin, you can do this. Do it for the bitches. Here we go, and it is in love, so it will use Dragon Claw one more time. And there you go, critical hit, Erwin wins this match. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So she's crying, and of course, uh, <laughs> she's crying right here. Yeah, in the beginning, she will not like us. She's like, wah, 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 snivel hook, you mini. Going back, she notices, oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Okay. <laughs> Sniff, what? What do you mean, what do you want? Oh, a badge? Oh right, I forgot, here's the plane badge. And there it is, guys, we got ourselves the plane badge, which, you know, easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, and uh, we can have this too, the TM-45, which I'm assuming it's a track, yeah. I, I was completely... I, I was thinking rollout. Uh, that was a good crack. Come for a visit. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was it for this ba this battle right here. I kind of feel like I have overtrained or overleveled my Pokemon just a little bit. But that is pretty much it for this guy right here. And, uh... Okay, so we need to do one more thing right here. And that is we need to go right here and actually get ourselves a... Uh, Whatchamacallit? Oh, a wiggly tree. Have you seen the wiggly tree that's growing to the, uh, around 36? My little sister got all excited and went in to see it. I'm worried. Isn't it dangerous? It is. Okay, so I'm assuming that we have to go straight to, uh, to the wiggly tree. And we need a Pokemon that knows cut. So, that will be in the next episode. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be figuring out what the mystery of the wiggly tree. See you guys. Mm -hmm.